What's up, everybody? What do we got today? We got some stabby pokey things. Okay, stick around for this. If you've got a 3D printer or you're going to have one, you're going to have an issue, and it's going to be called the clog. Hence, here comes the no clogger. This is a pretty cool. It's actually 3D printed, these parts anyways. We've got two different sizes that it comes with. All it is is a little round rod, basically. It fits exactly inside of your extruder to the top, and it pushes all the junk filament out of the nozzle. That little bit of filament that gets stuck in your nozzle causes clogs, things like that. This gets all that out. I'll give you an up-close look at it, kind of what it does. So right here, I have two nozzles in my hand. One of them has never been used, and the other one has somewhat of a clog, a little partial clog. What you see in there is just filament. It, all of them is going to have filament in it like that if you pull it out. So what this is going to do is it's going to put all that junk that's in there while it's heated up, and it's going to push it out of the bottom. So this fits exactly in this hole and pushes it all out. So this actually has like a sharp point to it. It's kind of cone shaped there and it's the same dimensions as inside of your nozzle on the inside. So when you push this through, it pushes out all that junk filament and any kind of clog or anything, burnt, glazed filament out of the nozzle and cleans it out without you having to take this off and possibly damage it and get it back on and saves you a lot of hassle. So we're gonna try it out and see what happens. So here, as you can see, I'm pushing some filament through, and as I push it through, you can see it slightly go to the left. This is sort of at an angle, so it's not the best shot, but the harder I push it through, the more it pushes over to the left. Just something in there is blocking us from being able to come straight out of that nozzle. Got a partial clog there. We're gonna take this no clogger here. This comes in two different sizes. You got a red and a black one. One of them's just a little bit longer. Other than that, they're exactly the same thing. So we're gonna take this and put it in the top. We've gotta pull this filament out first, set it aside, and this will just go in the top of your extruder depending on how long your extruder is and what kind of extruder you have. You're just gonna push this through and you'll see push it through just like that. And now all the filament that's in there, just kinda of jiggle it around a little bit and you got all that junk out of your nozzle. So then I like to take a wire brush or whatever you want to use and clean off the nozzle, clean any glazing or anything like that off that's stuck onto the bottom of your nozzle before we load the new filament back in and let's check it out. And you can see as we push it through it starts to clean up a little bit and there it is. So now it's coming out perfectly straight. It did a great job. I'm surprised I didn't have to do two rounds of this because it was decently clogged. But as you can see it is coming out perfectly straight right out of the bottom of the nozzle. That's exactly what we want. So that should do it. And there it is, an unclogged nozzle just like that. Without having to take the nozzle off my printer, very annoying, heating it up with torches, soaking it in acetone, or whatever other chemicals you may have to to get that stuff out of that clog. Much easier, much simpler, very effective, and cheap. Check it out, no clogger. The link is in the description of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.